And the last thing is you might ask for an application of total internal reflection. So the application in the chapter was optical fibers. So if you have, say, an optical flat fiber, this is a way of basically conveying information. We can convey information along an optical fiber. Um, and the optical fiber is called optical because what's traveling along it is light. Obviously, one way to convey information is an electrical wire. But this is an alternative to an electrical wire uh, where you send a light ray through. Um, and um, they have a little picture in the book of how the light ray keeps reflecting back and forth from the sides of the optical fiber, and that's how the light ray travels along the fiber. Oh, so none of it gets, none of it gets transmitted out of the fiber? Because it's designed for total internal so reflections. It hits the surface. Yeah, it's designed to make sure the angles are at the critical angle or more, so we're only getting reflection, because otherwise we'd be losing the information, right? We don't want the energy to be getting out, we want it to be just keep carrying along over here. So they have to design this so that we're getting the right angles for total internal uh, reflection. Now, would we expect this to work? Well, what is the end of the surrounding medium? It's, um, it's air. Which is the smallest it can be. Yeah. So this is the exact case when you can get total internal reflection. Because clearly the optical fiber is made out of something with a different end. For that matter, if we want it to be very easy to get total internal reflection, should the optical fiber have a big end or a small end? No, 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 like a really big one. Yeah, the bigger N is, um, the smaller the critical angle has to be. Uh, if N is huge, then uh, all for almost any angle, we would get total internal reflection. Okay, so that's pretty much all they say about it. I don't really know much about this, but apparently these optical fibers are based on this total internal reflection idea. Um, we can kind of see how the light can just keep reflecting back and forth. So it, um, they don't say this in the book, but it seems logical that you'd want to use something with a big N so you can be sure that the angles are always bigger than the critical angle. 